Welcome to Strange Travels. I'm Lauren, and that's Clint, and we're from Nashville. We love to travel, whether it's a day trip or to another country. We love seeking out new experiences, hiking with our dog Lily, and finding amazing food along the way. In today's video, we prove you don't always have to travel far to find a fun place to visit as we venture to a little town you've likely never heard of with a name you can't forget. We went antique shopping and found an amazing lunch in Bell Buckle, Tennessee and ended our day at a young distillery with a unique history and an important story. Here we go! Good morning! We are in historic Bell Buckle, Tennessee, which is a small town of just under 500 residents total and it's about 45 minutes south of Nashville and this little town is known for it's a center for arts and crafts and it is a well-known place for antique shopping let's go antiquing the Nashville Chattanooga Railroad came through this area starting in 1852 so Bell Buckle built their train depot and had their greatest period of prosperity starting around 1870 In 2021, Southern Living Magazine voted Bell Buckle to be the South's best small town. Bell Buckle has a long history of celebrating the arts and encouraging artists. Over the years, this quaint and quirky Victorian village has been home to a remarkably rich array of writers, musicians, quilters, sculptors, photographers, potters, mosaic artists, painters, and Grammy winners. When we first got here, we stopped at the Bell Buckle Coffee Shop and Book Swap, and it's just this cute little coffee shop, and it seems to be inspired by Central Perk from Friends. Huh. It's like a fun game. Saturday in June, the RC Cola Moon Pie Festival. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. You're probably wondering, what is a moon pie? Well, moon pies are these delicious treats. Moon pie was actually uh, invented in 1917 at Chattanooga Bakery. They are marshmallow cream sandwiched between two graham crackers covered in chocolate. It's basically a reverse s'mores. And not only that, they actually have many more different flavors, but chocolate is definitely the most popular. And you can eat them straight out of the wrapper. Or you could do it our preferred way, and that's zapping it in the microwave And these are the minis. The regular size, they're like, they're like the size of a CD or a DVD. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. You're probably wondering now, what the heck is a CD or a DVD? Well, back in the day, this is how we listen to music and watch it watched our favorite shows like Lost, The, the Office. Office. Jinx, buy me a Coke. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. The not as yummy, but definitely prettier celebration is Daffodil Day of the third Saturday in March. This quaint little town is known far and wide as the destination for antiques, handmade crafts, country music, home cooking at the world famous Bell Buckle Cafe, and classic southern hospitality. 
Of all the antique shops in the center of town, our favorite antique shop used to be a bank and the original safe is still there full of money. Thousands of visitors are drawn each year to visit the charming downtown with its unique shops and eateries and participate in the annual festivals. And after a busy morning of exploring and antiquing, it's time to eat. We just finished eating at Bell Buckle Cafe and oh, it was worth the trip alone. It was so good. We got there right when it opened because we heard it can be really busy and it definitely was busy. Um, I ended up getting country fried steak, fried okra, and mac and cheese. And then for dessert, I got chocolate meringue pie. And I got their smoked pork chop that came with their uh, in-house seasoning. Oh, it was amazing. I also got the fried corn, which is like a creamed corn, and carrot souffle, which I don't know how they get carrots to taste like that. I've never had carrots taste like that. It was more like a dessert. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Uh, it was so good. And then I got their grits cake. And I don't know how they get grits to taste like that. But man, it was so good. I felt bad not sharing with Lauren. <laughs> I kept begging her to try more because it was so good. Um, but we have plans now outside of Bell Buckle. About six, eight minutes down the road is a distillery whose story comes from the best whiskey maker the world has never known. We just got to nearest green distillery. Uh, it's about an eight minute drive from Bell Buckle, so really excited to check out this distillery and take a tour. Nathan Nearest Green is the first known African American master distiller. He specialized in a process that gave his whiskey a unique smoothness known as sugar maple charcoal filtering. This later became known as the Lincoln County process. In the mid 1850s, a young white boy came to work at the farm where Nearest operated as the master distiller. Nearest taught the young boy everything he knew about distilling. As the years went by, the young boy continued learning from Nearest and eventually became old enough to begin selling this unique whiskey in other towns near Lynchburg. Over time, the boy moved from the property and took his growing whiskey business with him. Nearest retired, but his sons Louis, Eli, and George all continued the tradition of making the best whiskey in the area and went to work with the young man at his new place. That young man went on to be known as one of the most famous whiskey makers in the world, Jack Daniel. We just got done with our tour here at Nearest Green's Distillery and it's about an hour and a half tour. It includes a tasting, so if you're interested in that, uh, it was about $35 a person. The distillery opened in July of 2017, so in terms of distilleries, it's a pretty young distillery, and you can see that on the tour. It's still a work in progress. They have a lot of exciting stuff planned for the future, uh, including the Humble Baron, which you see here behind me, or behind us, it is going to be home to the world's longest bar. By the time this video comes out, the bar will actually be open. It opens on March 23rd. Unfortunately, we're just a couple weeks too early. We have to go back. And we definitely want to come back uh, when this opens. Uh, we also want to come back when we're hungry because also on site here is Barrel House 2 which is home to an award-winning grilled cheese called Grilled Cheese on Crack. And if I hadn't eaten so much at Bell Buckle Cafe, I would definitely be looking to try that. Yeah, so, I, I feel like I'm kind of a little bit sad that we are full because I really wanted to try it, but it just gives us a reason to come back along with the bar. And yeah, yeah. I, I mean. It, they, they have a lot of, uh, they have an incredible place here with uh, a lot of exciting entertainment. The, the tour, I feel like, is it's not fair to call it a tour because it's more than that. It was a show. Yeah. It was an entertainment. A entertain production. Yeah. yeah. There, uh, there are things about the tour that I don't want to tell you because it would be a spoiler um, that, uh, that this is what you do on this tour. Um, there are, there, the attention to detail they go to on the tour is a fascinating. It's one of the only distillery tours I've ever been in that felt like edutainment where I was being educated and entertained at the same time. Yeah. So highly recommend 
uh, nearest green distillery. If you're in, if you're gonna go to Lynchburg or you're gonna go to Bell Buck or Shelbyville, Tennessee, or you're in Nashville, definitely yeah. worth making a stop. Infinity dummy, it's, it's impossible. He over here talking about infinity. You don't go beyond infinity. You don't know nothing about science.